Hello and welcome to Shop TV. My name is Gianna and you are at home here with Shop TV. Literally at home pa rin dahil wala pa rin tayo sa studio. Of course, we are still experiencing the enhanced community quarantine. Kaya um, Shop TV always prioritizes the safety of their staff. So we're making sure that everybody is staying at home, staying safe and healthy as much as possible during these times. But of course, you can also order the use That's www.shoptv.com.ph We have um, some few things, some new things there. So you can actually check that out because uh, it's very interesting. You know, you need to be luto because we're cooking a lot these days or you need things to clean. Then we got it for you on Shop TV. You can just send us a message either straight through our website or on our social media on Facebook and on Instagram at Shop TV PH and we'll communicate with you there because our staff, they're all working from home. They'll try to accommodate you as soon as possible and of course, we'll try to deliver to you as soon as possible as well we make sure that our couriers are sanitized and we're doing everything clean just because of course we want to flatten that curve and help flatten that curve but life still goes on despite the enhanced community quarantine and speaking of life still going on Shemke, we're still gonna try to keep you company dito sa shop TV so thank you for watching our YouTube channel we are going to continue to make videos for you para lang fun and para feel nyo may kasama naman kayo um, during these times kung mag isa lang kayo okay lang because we're here to hold you a physical distancing pala to physically distance ourselves but still be with you in spirit so i hope you enjoy this video because it's gonna be an actually interesting one and sana it's something that a lot of you can relate to today i will be talking about five different ways i stay productive during this enhanced community quarantine well First of all, um, if you're not productive during these times, don't feel pressured because there's a lot of stress um, going on around us. So we really should not feel pressured um, to get things done. But for me, to get my mind off of um, the negative things going on in life, talagang sinusubuan ko maging productive um, para paglabas natin sa outside world, sa bahay ni Kuya. Paglabas natin sa bahay ni Kuya, may buhay pa rin tayo and um, we can still keep going with our lives. So yeah, um, I will give you five different tips on how you can stay productive during this enhanced community quarantine. Here is tip number one. Um, try to get yourself in a routine. This is actually something suggested by the World Health Organization that if you get yourself in some so, some sort of routine with your day, then it'll actually develop normalcy in your in your life right now because Everything that's going with everything that's going on, you can't really say anything is normal. I mean, how long have you really had to stay in your house before the bus? So nothing is normal is really happening, but um, we can impose that sense of normalcy in our homes if we get in ourselves into a routine. We can even try to take elements from um, our regular life into this new enhanced community quarantine in life with a, a few restrictions. So. Um, for me, I've been trying to get up at at least 9 a.m. every morning. Um, before, because I worked on radio, I would get up at around 6.40, 6, 6.45. Tapos na nag na yung enhanced community quarantine. Um, I would get up super late na at like 1 p.m. And then I would feel like my days are so short na wala akong ginagawa. So mas lalo na kick in sa mindset ko that we are going through an enhanced community quarantine. But I told myself that can't keep going. So I started waking up at least at 9 a.m. And then I, I try to make myself a good breakfast or um, I watch an episode of one of my favorite shows just to get myself in a good mood. And then for the rest of the day, I try to work. I try to end my night or at least um, do this in the afternoon. I, I try to do at least 20 to 30 minutes of yoga every single day. Which brings me to step number two on how to stay productive. Again, sabi ko nga, don't feel pressured na maging productive kayo. I know sobrang crazy ng times right now. Um, and we're all worried. Ano ba mangyayari after this enhanced community quarantine? Ako, I, I work five jobs. Um, thankfully, I'm still able to work a, a few of those jobs. Three of three, four of those jobs from home. So, um, thank. I am super lucky, but not everybody is going through that same situation. Kaya you're trying to find things to do. For me. 
as as I am working from home, I am still doing all of those things. I try to make sure I at least give an hour to myself every single day to just relax. And that relax relaxation can just be lying down, or taking a nap. Or um, eating your favorite snack. Mahilig talaga ako sa chocolate. So eating your favorite snack just for a little bit and watching an episode of your favorite show. Um, gaya ng minention ko kanina, I, I've been loving yoga and it's been putting me in a good headspace. And while I do yoga, I, I light a few of my favorite candles. You can see one of them over there. Oh, so ayan. Um, try to give yourself an hour to just relax, to so just breathe, uh, forget what's going on in the outside world because you deserve that. As I said, yung mga nangyayari ngayon, it's so heavy and it's very negative so we just need to take ourselves out of that situation. We need to give that to ourselves and try to stay optimistic and stay positive even just for an hour of the day. Okay? And I have another... Tip. So the tlabang tips. I had two tips. Number one, get yourself in a routine. Number two, um, try to give yourself an hour to just relax. And number three for me, let's make good use of technology. If you want to be productive, there are so many webinars, seminars on the website, on online. <laughs> and there are a lot of lives as well. Some of our favorite artistas are doing lives. Um, our favorite motivational speakers, our, our favorite politicians, they're doing live sessions on their social media. And as much as we think that technology is a detriment to society, which I honestly, as a communication major, I see the disadvantages of um, of technology in nowadays because everybody's just on their phones. But especially with this physical distancing, we need to... Um, make use and take advantage of our cell phones and our laptops. Let's read accurate news. Yun ya, let's get ourselves into webinars. Um, yesterday or a couple of days ago, it was Earth Day. So I was able to join an urban gardening webinar. And it's a topic that I never knew anything about before. And it's such an interesting topic that after this enhanced community quarantine, I can talk about it with my friends. No way, let's plant um, plant plants the man in our homes the best so we can learn so much more there are so many online classes and don't be afraid to sign up for them thinking na wala kang alam about the topic or baka wala kang time because again there's so much uncertainty so at least uh, we can just educate ourselves more on, on various topics not just with what's going on in the news but with what's going on around the world as well and, and maybe it could be a more positive topic so that is my tip number three make good use of technology so make sure um you know, try to watch those webinars. There's a lot of documentaries online as well uh, that are very interesting. Even Netflix has huge amounts of documentaries that are so much fun to watch. So let's make good use of technology in that way and not just scroll through social media, uh, you know, lose our minds and comparing ourselves to others as well because that can get negative. And that goes to my tip number four. Tip number four. The World Health Organization actually recently announced that what we've been saying is wrong these past few weeks. We're always saying social distancing, social distancing, social distancing. Well, it's actually called physical distancing because we're not uh, allowed to physically be with other people. But it cannot or should not be called social distancing because right now, more than any other time, we need to socialize as much as possible. And I'm saying socialize as in, make sure you're checking up on your friends and family. Make sure that um, you're talking to them, even online, making sure that they're okay. You can even start discussions with them. Talk to them about what they think about the environment, how it's getting better. Did you know that 74% of air pollution in Metro Manila has decreased since the enhanced community quarantine? That can be something that sparks your interest and their interest. You can create discussions. You can be productive with that. So I'm thankful again ako because this enhanced community quarantine for the past few weeks, and dami kong friends and family that are checking up on me, and, and that makes a huge difference because mental health is just as important as physical health. So at least you're making sure that mentally stable for your know, friends and families, you know, because the situation right now is just so heavy. It's so difficult. So um make sure to check up on your friends and family and that is a way to stay productive because i think 
that should be what's most important right now. And yun yung talagang na realize ko during this enhanced community quarantine na um, we need to spend more time with our family and friends. Right now, when I can't even be with my parents who live 10 minutes away, um, I need to spend more time with them when I do have that opportunity. Whew! Ang dami ko nagsirasabi. Sana hindi pa kayo nabobore dahil andito na ako sa final tip ko. Tip number five. One of the most fun and easiest ways to be productive during this enhanced community quarantine is learning how to cook. Cook yourself a good meal. Cook yourself a healthy meal. Alam ko na Thankfully, marami rin accessible na restaurants pwede tayo magpa-deliver. But ang dami kong natutunan na recipes during this enhanced community quarantine. And honestly, dahil nga wala tayong leeway to be able to walk around, to be more active, um, to go on with our day. Kasi usually, we're going from one place to another. Ngayon, dito lang tayo sa bahay. Ako, medyo maliit pa yung loft ko. So, uh, wala akong masyadong magagalawan. Um, we can actually cook for ourselves, make, our, make ourselves good meals so that our body feels good. Of course, um, with the COVID-19, it attacks your immune system. So, kung mas, mas malakas ang immune system natin, that will give a higher possibility that we'll be able to fight off this virus. So, um, try to check for good meals. Uh, you can check on Shop TV because we have our Easy Eats and Dami Namin meals in the past few episodes. And you can check out our Easy Eats episodes on our Facebook. That is Shop TV Philippines. And you can also check out Pinterest. I've been loving challenging myself by searching up Pinterest recipes and seeing kung um, kaya ko gawin yun. There's also Tasty na sobrang nakaka, it's so mouthwatering. Makita lang yung recipes nila. So, try to make yourself a good meal. Take care of your health um, first and foremost at this time. Research more. Research more about how many calories you would need to um, just feel healthy. Think about your, your protein, your carbs, how many of those that you need, the vitamins that are, are inside your um, ingredients. You can, yeah, you can learn more about that. Whether or not cooking is your interest, I think it, it'll be interesting to know what goes in your food and it, it, it'll be a lot more fun to eat as well. And I think that is one of the best ways to be productive in taking care of your body. Dahil syempre, gusto natin paglabas nga natin dito sa bahay ni Kuya, maganda and healthy pa rin tayo as much as possible. So that is actually it for me today. Those are my five tips in being productive during this enhanced community quarantine. Number one, get yourself into a routine to induce some sense of normalcy in your life. Um, number two, try to take an hour for yourself to just relax, to just get yourself away from the outside world, um, especially in this situation the medyo heavy ang nangyayari. Number three, make good use of technology. Join webinars, um, watch lives of some of your favorite people, and maybe even do your own live. Maybe start your own YouTube channel. Uh, this is one of the most efficient ways to communicate to other people right now. Number four, make sure you check up on your family and friends because mental health is just as important as your physical health and number five going along those lines try to teach yourself how to cook try out new recipes um, and so that you can take care of your body a lot more and strengthen that immune system in fighting off the COVID-19 and speaking of cooking marami rin tayong mga gamit na binabenta sa Shop TV so kung interested kayo just check out www.shoptv.com.ph hindi lang yun I also want to shout out the different organizations that I've been working with during this enhanced community quarantine and fighting the coronavirus pandemic so I've been working with Protect the Frontline they are um an organization that connects you directly to a frontliner in various facilities around Metro Manila and I know that they're going provincial as well. So, minsan hesitant tayo mag-donate dahil hindi natin alam kung saan napupunta yung mga gamit natin or yung pera natin but what Protect the Frontline does is that they give you the direct contact number of a frontliner from that facility and kayo na yung pwede mag-arrange on how the donations go. It is so efficient and I've been able to donate to both the National Center for Mental Health in Mandaluyong and the Mandaluyong Medical Center as well. So that's been super helpful. If you do want to um, help out either of those facilities, just send me a message at Gianna Lianis on Instagram and Gianna Lianis on Facebook. I would love to work with you. I've also been working with 
Young Focus PH, yun yung organization na uh, may na-advocate ni Catriona. Pero yung may-ari yun yun, um, high school best friend ko at yung parents niya. So, they're raising 550 pesos per purse for a family in Tondo, Manila. And that will give 15 kilograms of rice to these families whose um, matriarch or patriarch patriarchs or matriarchs even um don't even have jobs right now because of the enhanced community quarantine um dinner in Tondo, manila they had a fire in one of their barangays recently and some of their um residents are homeless so as much as possible they're looking for those donations so that they can you know build homes or find shelters for these people i'm also working with um you happy events that's a non-governmental organization usually they throw parties Parties, kung gusto mo party with a marginalized community and to give back. Um, so let me organize. But right now, what they're doing is they're collecting pledges worth 150 pesos each to give hygiene kits to marginalized communities. And they just gave away 1,500 hygiene kits to 24 different NGOs. So you can check those out. Protect the Frontline, um, You Happy Events, and Young Focus PH. And I would love to work with you with them as well. So send me a message. It's Gianna Lianas on Facebook and Instagram so we can really flatten the curve and fight the coronavirus pandemic. Again, we here at Shop TV, we're all here with you and sending our love. We hope that you are safe and healthy and we will be together soon. But no matter where we are, I just want to remind you, I'm Gianna Lianas and you're, ha and you're at home here with Shop TV. Bye guys!